Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today topic is Basic important questions based on tree tower. In this video, we will cover all basic questions asked on the tree tower. Now let's see questions. So the first question is What is tree tower? So, a tree tower is a vertical column that consists of several plates. It is also called a plate column. In this column, liquid enters from the top, flows over every plate, and from plate to plate via down commas and via. Now, what is the use of a down comma in tree tower? So, a down comma is a passage for liquid flow from a plate above to the plate below. It may be in the form of circular pipes or segments of the tower cross section, which is made for liquid flow by vertical plates. The discharge end of the down comma is generally projected far enough into the liquid on a plate to avoid short circuit the plate above by gas which is rising up through the down comma. Now, what is the use of the weir in tree tower? So, in the tree tower, an exit weir or outlet weir is used for maintaining a certain depth of liquid on each plate needed for gas contacting. and a inlet weir is used to avoid a short circuit in the tray above, which occurs due to rising gas in the down comma. But, inlet weir may result in a hydraulic jump of the liquid, and are not generally recommended. Now, which are the operating problems that may arise in the tray column? The operating problems that may arise in the tray column are Entrainment Priming Flooding Weeping Dumping And coning Now, what is liquid entrainment? So, at a high gas flow rate small liquid particles carry over by the rising gas from a plate below to the plate above is known as entrainment. Entrainment reduces the concentration change per plate and hence decreases the efficiency. Now, what is priming? This is an exaggerated condition of entrainment. In this condition, for liquid gas combinations, which tend to form excessively, due to the high gas flow rate, the foam persists throughout the space between the trays. And then the liquid from the bottom trays is carried away along with the gas from one tray to the tray above, up to the top tray. Due to this, liquid handling load and gas pressure drop increases. Now, what is flooding? So, at large liquid depths on the tray and high gas velocities, flooding conditions may arise. At this condition, due to the increased rate of flow of either gas or liquid, a large pressure difference in the space between trays is created. Hence, 
liquid fills the downspout as well as an entire tray space and eventually the entire column then the tower is called flooded due to this tray efficiency falls to a low value the flow of gas is erratic and the liquid may be forced out of the exit pipe at the top of the tower now what is weeping so at low gas velocity most of the liquid may rain down through the openings of the tray with optimal vapor liquid contact this condition is called weeping this problem mostly arises in the sieve tray now what is dumping so at very low gas rates none of the liquid reaches the downspout this condition is called dumping now what is coning so if the liquid flow rate is too low gas rising through the opening of the tray and may push the liquid away and cone like structure is formed this condition is called coning which causes poor contact between gas and liquid now explain sieve trays so sieve trays are simply metal plates with holes in them vapor passes straight upward through the liquid on the plate it consists of hundreds of round perforations or hole of the size ranging between 3 to 12 mm hence the gas flow through the perforations prevent downflow of the liquid but at low gas rates weeping is a severe problem which in turn reduces stage efficiency now define bubble cap trays so a bubble cap tray has a riser or chimney fitted over each hole and a cap that covers the riser The cap is mounted so that there is a space between the riser and cap to allow the passage of vapor. Vapor rises through the chimney and is directed downward by the cap, then discharged through slots in the cap, and finally bubbling through the liquid on the tray. Due to this. gas disperses into liquid as fine bubbles hence it prevents liquid drainage through the gas passage at low liquid rates that is a weak so due to relatively high cost and high pressure drop bubble cap trays are now rarely used now what is point efficiency so the efficiency of mass transfer at a particular place on the tray surface is called point efficiency or local efficiency on any tray the conditions at various locations may differ hence point efficiency is different at that location AOG is equal to Y and local minus Y and plus one local divided by Y star local minus Y and plus one local, where Y star local is concentration in equilibrium with X local. Y and local is 
Local composition of the vapor leaving the plate and Y n plus 1 local is the local composition of the vapor entering the plate. Now, what is stage efficiency? So, stage efficiency is defined as the fractional approach to the equilibrium which a real stage produces. It is the ratio of actual salute transfer to that if equilibrium were obtained. The most frequently used expression is the Murphy stage efficiency. The fractional approach of one leaving steam to equilibrium with the actual concentration in the other leaving steam. Now, how we can increase tray or stage efficiency? So, for high tray or stage efficiency, the time of contact between the phases should belong. The interfacial surface between the phases must be large. And, the high intensity of turbulence is required. Now, what is Murphy efficiency? So, it is the efficiency of any single plate based on the vapor phase composition. The Murphy efficiency of the entire tray is AMG is equal to YN minus YN plus 1 divided by Yn star minus Yn plus 1 where Yn star is the value in equilibrium with the leaving liquid of concentration Xn Yn is the average composition of the vapor leaving the plate and Yn plus 1 is the average composition of the vapor entering the plate. Now, what are the merits and demerits of the tray column? So, merits and demerits of tray column are Tray column can be operate over a wide range of liquid flow rates without flooding. In tray tower side stream are very easily taken out. If liquid mixture containing dispersed solids, tray towers should be preferred, as cleaning of the tray is very easy. If the cooling arrangement is required to remove the heat of the solution or reaction, tray columns are preferred. For a given duty, the total weight of a dry tray tower is normally less than the weight of the packed tower, but the weight of both towers is approximately the same. If liquid holds up in the tray tower during the operation is taken into account. Tray towers are often preferred when large temperature changes are involved as in distillation because thermal expansion or contraction of the equipment component may crush the packing now what is the difference between tray column and packed column so the difference between the tray column and packed column is tray columns are stage-wise contactors and mass transferred occurs stage-wise or intermittently. And packed columns are differential contactors. And mass transferred occurs throughout the length of the contactor. In the tray tower, trays are used as a gas liquid device. And 
In the back tower, backing is used as a gas liquid device. Tray tower and walls. Calculation of the number of theoretical stages required to affect a given separation. And back tower and walls. Calculation of the height of transfer unit and number of transfer units required to affect a given separation. Tray towers are complex in construction. And packed columns are simple in construction. So that's all about basic important questions on tree tower. If you like my video, please like my video, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.